What's up everyone? Welcome back to your Oracle tutorial series. Now in the previous video, there were two data types I mentioned. Well, there was actually a lot of data types I mentioned, <laughs> but two that I'm particularly interested in for this video, and that is char and nchar. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to go into detail on these data types quite yet. That's because I want to explain the difference between char and nchar because they seem very similar, but there is some foundational knowledge that you're required to understand before I can explain the difference between char and nchar. So I know it's like this chain, you want to learn about this and you have to go through 30 other things, but <laughs> trust me that this information in this video and the next video is going to help us understand the rest of the data types. So please stick through this video and yeah, let's get started. This video, I'm going to introduce the concept of character sets and we might address this more in the future, but I wanted to give you a little bit now so you can understand the data types a little bit more. Now, what is a character set? Well, when you're working with the computer, there's only certain characters you're allowed to use. For example, A, B, C, D, whatever. The character set is a list of allowed characters. One common character set is known as ASCII. Now, ASCII is a very small character set. In fact, it started with only 127 characters. Now, they came out with an extended one, which is 255 characters. But even so, this is very limiting when you're talking about other languages. You're not going to be able to store all these different languages with only 255 characters. If we're talking English alone, we have all of the lowercase letters, all of the uppercase letters, and a bunch of symbols. Now, this will work for some cases, but it's not going to work with everything. Especially with the globalization of software being a big thing, with the development of the interwebs and the movement towards a new world order. <laughs> Did I say that? This means that ASCII is no longer the best character set. It has largely been replaced with a character set known as Unicode. Unicode allows for multiple other languages, and Oracle supports a couple Unicode character sets that are going to allow us to globalize our software a little bit better and allow for other characters, such as different symbols, smiley faces, and... <laughs> clef signs and all that stuff. When you start studying character sets, you will run across the word encoding. This is slightly different than character sets. Character sets are the characters that are allowed. So you might be allowed, you know, A, B, C, dot, 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 dot. But the way this is actually stored and implemented on the computer is known as the encoding. So if the character set is Unicode, Unicode will have some encodings. And the types of encodings are what we are going to talk about in the next video. The reason encodings are so important is so that computers can communicate with one another. For example, it's not enough to say that you can use these characters. Because one computer might say that this character is some code, and another computer might say that this character is that same code, and then you get these flip-flopping of characters. <laughs> and when that stuff starts to happen, you start getting weird things like random question marks and <laughs> all that stuff. So it's very important that you understand character sets and encodings. So be sure to check out the next video because we're going to talk about some of the most common encodings for Unicode and it's going to be very helpful. So thanks for watching guys. Please be sure to subscribe and also click like and I will see you in the next one.